Police in Beaver County say they arrested five Pagans gang members, four from West Virginia, one from Maryland. They're accused of assaulting someone and stealing a gun at the Big Beaver Ramada Inn last weekend. Jennifer Barresso talked with a hotel employee. Court records show two of the five Pagans are locked up tonight. It's unclear of the victim's injuries and how he came in contact with the biker gang. Just before 2 a.m. Sunday, Beaver Falls Police, State Police and SWAT responded to a reported fight involving Pagan biker gang members in the parking lot at the Big Beaver Ramada Inn, according to District Attorney David Lozier. Missy Hill lives and works here. My boyfriend went out to smoke a cigarette before he went down to work and was met in the hallway with assault rifles. In a news release, the DA said numerous pagan biker gang members reportedly beat an individual several times using boots, fists, and brass knuckles, which are illegal, and put a firearm to the victim's head and stole that person's firearm. 69 people were removed and detained temporarily. While police executed a search warrant, they found 26 firearms, one of which was a stolen gun out of West Virginia, the victim's gun, and five sets of brass knuckles, which are illegal. In the end, police arrested four pagans, three from West Virginia and one from Maryland for robbery and aggravated assault. One West Virginia guy was arrested for possessing a stolen firearm. Officers at the scene were told the gang reserved 32 rooms at the hotel Saturday. Employee Missy Hill says she didn't hear about any problems. We had no noise complaints. We had no issues with them whatsoever. Um, it was like any other block off. We've had more issues when we had wedding parties. And they were back in our bar after nine o'clock, having wings, having a few drinks, and they weren't causing any problems. They were polite. Lozier told us the Pagans drove to Cleveland for an event, but the group did not elaborate. He says the hotel in Beaver County was a place to stay on their way home. He wouldn't say how or if the victim is connected to the biker gang. In Beaver County, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.